The sponsor of today's video is Blackout Coffee. Guys and gals, if you love coffee, you love America, and you want to support our troops and our Second Amendment at the same time, check out Blackout Coffee. We're a small family-owned company in Florida. We pick our own grade A beans. We roast our, our beans. We control the entire process from ordering them in, uh, roasting them, grinding them, packaging them, uh, and shipping them to your doorstep. Everything is small batch, made fresh. Uh, you're not going to get anything stale from us. Check us out down below at blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG. We have all kinds of flavors as well as light roast, medium roast, dark roast. If you're not into coffee, we have loose leaf teas and hot chocolates as well and some of the best swag around. Guys and gals, thank you for your support of Blackout Coffee. It means so much to us and uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching New York. Post Buffalo supermarket shooting, the lawmakers in New York rushed to pass a body armor ban. We covered that here on this channel, and it was signed almost immediately by Governor Kathy Hochul. And it is illegal to purchase what is in the law, the way it says, is bullet resistant soft body armor. Well, according to an NPR uh, article that came out today, that fact that the law only bans soft body armor has some New York retailers confused on what they can sell. It should be mentioned for those who live in New York, you still can go to another state and purchase this totally legal soft woven fabric and bring it home. But there are some lawmakers willing to jump in and fix the confusion you have so they can fix everything and make everybody safe. What do I mean? Well, like the article says, the person who perpetrated the shooting in the Buffalo supermarket was we was wearing steel plates. And the rush to ban body armor didn't address the type that he was wearing. Which brings me to this quote here by Warren Eller, a public policy professor at the John Jay College of Criminal Justice. He said, with the toughest armor still allowed to be sold, I am not convinced that this legislation is very meaningful. So, like I said... Politicians are ready to jump in and fix your confusion and make you safer. Assembly member Jonathan Jacobson, who is a lead sponsor of the body armor ban that just passed, told the Associated Press he would be, quote, glad to amend the law to make it even stronger. And even Governor Hockle's office said this. Governor Hockle was proud to sign the groundbreaking new law passed by the legislature to restrict sales of body armor. And will work with the legislature to expand the definitions in the law at the first available opportunity. And back to Assemblymember Jacobson, he said that come the next uh, legislative session in January in New York, he's going to also work to remove the option of American citizens traveling outside of their state of residence, New York, going to another state, lawfully and legally, Purchasing a legal item that is not federally controlled and there's no need for it to be and then to bring it back home legally. That's right. He's going to work a way into the law where you cannot purchase body armor out of state and bring it home. And when asked about his rushed body armor uh, law and why it didn't include all of the things that they now want to expand, he said this. We wanted to get things done as quickly as possible and not let the perfect get in the way of the good. Like all laws in New York State, we always try to make them better in the future. Of course, we'll try to make this law better. Translation, we're going to infringe and infringe and infringe, and you need to understand that we're just trying to make you safe. Also, I still want to remind you that there are whispers and murmurs about a similar type bill on the federal level, which is one of the reasons that Governor Hockle and old fallen off the bike Joe Biden have been uh, in a lot of uh, phone calls recently. So just wanted to give you all a heads up. If you live in New York, they're coming further. They're coming harder. In January, they're going to come after all of it when it comes to body armor. If you live in New York, you still can purchase stuff out of state and... Uh, you know, you might as well do that while well, you can, because they're going to try to stop that too. Till we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. And that is what the Second Amendment is for. It's not for anything else. We know that. I know that. You know that. Uh, but it's time for us to make other people know that as well. Y'all, this is the second video for today. Let me know what you think down below, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.